So let's try solving this system now. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do the elimination method three times. That's essentially what it comes down to for uh, a system of three equations, three unknowns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the first two here uh, because I see that the x's are opposites already, so I don't have to do any work there. I'm just gonna add those to get together and get rid of the x's. So I'm gonna have two x plus y minus three z equals zero. So I just took this first equation and wrote it down there. And I'm gonna write the other one just below it. So negative two x plus two y plus z equals negative seven. Then I'm just gonna add those together. So again, my x's are opposite, so that gives me zero there. So this is gonna be three y minus two z equals negative seven. So now I'm gonna take another pair, but I have to use the last one here. This one, because I didn't use it yet, I have to use that one now. So I can use it with either the first or the second one. So I'm just gonna use it with the second one here because it doesn't really matter. Um, either one I pick is, is gonna be the same amount of work. So I always try to look for the easier one, but there's not one here that's gonna be a little more faster or a little faster. Anyways, I'm gonna take the second two. So that means I'm gonna to have to take the second one then and multiply it by a three and the third one, and I'm gonna to have to multiply that one by a two because they're already opposite signs. I don't have to worry about signs here. So then when I work that out, I'm gonna get negative six. Now I'm just doing this top one here first. So that's negative six X uh, plus six Y plus three Z, and that equals negative, negative 21. Okay, and then for the bottom one, I'm multiplying by two, so that's gonna be six X minus eight Y um, minus six Z equals 14. And now I'm gonna take those two and add them together. So then my X's are opposite, so they're gonna give me zero. So I'm gonna get negative two y minus three z equals negative seven. Now again, for that second pair, I had to get rid of the x's. And my sole purpose for that is now look at what I have. I have two equations, two unknowns, and the unknowns are the same for both of those. So I have to make sure if I get rid of the x's for the first uh, pair there, for the first ones I add together, I'm gonna to have to do that, get rid of that same ladder for the third one I use and any one of the first or second one I choose to use there. Because now I have my Y's and Z's equations and I can get rid of either my Y's or my Z's. So I'm gonna get rid of the Y's because it really doesn't matter which one I get rid of. So I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna multiply it by three. I'm gonna take this one here and multiply it by two so I'm gonna take this one here first and I'm going to multiply it out. So that's gonna be six Y minus four Z equals negative 14. Okay, and then for the other one here, that's gonna be negative six Y uh, minus nine Y and that equals negative 21. So now I'm gonna take those two and add them together and my X's are gonna give me zero, or my Y's are gonna give me zero. And then my, my, whoa, hang on. Screwed up here, that should have been a Z. Okay, I think I said it right and wrote it wrong. But anyways, that's a Z. So that's gonna be negative 13 Z equals negative 35. So now I'm gonna take and divide by negative 13 both sides. And I get Z equals 35 over 13. So there's our Z. So now we have to find our X and our Y. So that's not too bad to do. And all we're gonna do here is just back substitute. That's an ugly number to work with. So don't get used to looking at nice numbers here. They can be pretty painful sometimes. Okay, so anyways, so now I'm just gonna go back to any one of the equations I can use before it. So either this one or this one. It has to be one of those two because I, I'm just, I just have a Y and a Z there. So anyways, I'm gonna pick this one here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna say 3y, okay, minus two, and I'm gonna plug in my 35 over 13, and that's gonna equal negative seven. So now, I'm just gonna simplify this, oops. So 3y minus 70 over 13 equals negative seven. So now I'm going to put that over one and I'm gonna to have to times the top and the bottom by 13 because I'm gonna need like denominators when I add 70 over 13 to both sides. So then I'm gonna get 3y equals negative 91 over 13 plus 70 over 13. So then that's gonna be 3y equals, and that's gonna be a negative 21 over 13. And then I need to divide by three and divide by three here. And that's really a three over one, so I flip and multiply. So then my y is gonna equal negative 21 over 13 times one over three, and I see those uh, 21 and three is gonna cancel, so I get negative seven over 13 for my y. So there's two of them. Now I have to get my z. Now I'm just gonna do that in this little corner off to the left here, over here. Um, because I'm almost done with this. So I have my X, my, I mean my Y and my Z, and now I need my X. So I'm just gonna plug it into the top one here. So that's gonna be two X um, plus, or I should say, minus seven over 13, minus three times 35 over 13 equals zero. Okay, so that's gonna be 35 times three, so that's gonna be a 105. Okay, so I can really get two X minus seven over 13 minus 105 over 13 equals zero. So that equals negative 112 when I put those together. So it's negative 112 over 13. Now I need to move that to the other side. So I'm gonna get 2x equals 112 over 13. Then I need to divide by two, divide by two. So that means I'm gonna flip and multiply. So then x equals. So then x equals 56 thirteenths. So now the way I would put these all together are fifty-six thirteenths, comma, negative seven thirteenths, comma, and my z is thirty-five thirteenths. And there it is. It's it's a it's a three tuple is what they call it. And it's a point in three space. It's an X, a Y, and a Z. So that's the answer.